Hi, right, Captain Alan Lorenzetti here for SkimmerOutdoors.com, Trophy Fishing Tackle, and Ramsey Realtors bringing you the weekend update and fishing report. This for the weekend of August 5th, 6th, and 7th. Uh, looks like weather-wise, Saturday's going to be a tough day, wind, some storms around, but Friday and Sunday look real good. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're going out there. Watch yourself if you're out there on Saturday. Looks like it could be a little bit shaky. Um, on the fishing front, inshore, I've been doing a lot of fluke fishing, pretty much sticking inside the inlet. Uh, there are fish to be caught. I uh, had a six pound fish earlier in the week, a few other nice keepers, but it seems like it's the year of the sea robin. Uh, you know, yesterday I probably caught a hundred sea robins and two keeper fluke, so uh, things can get tough uh, on the sea, sea robin front. Make sure you have one of those D hookers if you have to handle all of those critters. You're going to have puncture holes all over your hands, so uh, be careful with it. But there are fish there to be caught. Um, outside, I think there's a good body of fish, fluke that is, to the east. Uh, but, you know, it's a pretty long run. Like I said, I mentioned last week, down off of Cherry Grove, from Ocean Beach East, it seems like, in 75 feet of water. Uh, it's a good area, lots of bait, clean water there too as well. So, um, you know, that's another thought uh, when hunting for fluke. The reef is producing some fish as well, the offshore reef, a couple of sea bass. Uh, you know, the sea bass are around if a piece stays untouched for a day or two, you're going to have some fish on it. So it uh, pays to keep going out there and hitting the pieces, although they are kind of picked out. But you'll catch your two or three nice big sea bass uh, and have a nice dinner with it. Uh, snappers are around now. All the docks, uh, they're catchable size, they're eatable size, and they're a lot of fun. It's time to break out the cane poles and a little spinning outfits, get the kids down there to the docks or out on the boat and catch up some of those snapper blues. Um, also, if you get those nice ones, maybe three, four inches, five inches long at most, it's a great fluke bait, you know, for, for a trophy fluke. Um, so that's another possibility as well. Uh, striped bass, pretty much nothing going on there, but there are a couple of weak fish around. I uh, had a 10-pound fish last week. Um, while fishing on the inside, there's a couple of fish around on the, on the pieces inshore, and those, those weak fish like to hang around that structure. So uh, be prepared, uh, and you know, it may happen, but you know, they're far and few between. On the offshore scene, it seems like there's pretty good bite going on in the Hudson, and those bluefin are just elusive as can be. Uh, it's not that you can go to one area and count on finding them every single day and they kind of bounce around. I know one fish of bluefin caught 18 miles south of Montauk Point when a guy was shark fishing. So, uh, I mean, they're spread out anywhere from Montauk all down that, pretty much that 180 foot line, 180 to 30 fathom curve, 35 fathom curve, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, and basically on a troll right now, they haven't settled in on the sand deals yet, so the jig bite hasn't happened yet. But... You know, who knows? It could happen any day. Shark fishing, there's still some sharks around, thinned out a little bit. A lot of them kind of moved up north uh, or out into the cooler water, the deeper water. But uh, it's certainly worth a trip out there. And like I said, you can mix it up, do a little troll in the morning early for tuna, then drop a couple of buckets of chum, do some shark fishing, and pick it up, go on a troll again in the afternoon for the afternoon bite, and make a good day of it offshore. So uh, again, once again, it's a home-brewed addition here. Tim's uh, out of town. And I'm doing the best I can, hanging in there. And uh, that's it. Get out there this weekend, have a great time, catch them up, and be safe.